let's put a gas inside a container with a piston on top. If we look at the molecules of a gas, they are separated from each other. They are in motion, colliding with each other, and they collide with the walls around them as well. A molecule that hits against the wall will produce a push. When lots of molecules are continuously hitting against the walls, there is an average push over those walls. That's what we call pressure. In this case, they'd also be hitting up against the piston on top. So we'd have to hold the piston down with some force to keep it closed. That force is the pressure times the area of the piston. Imagine if we increased the surface area of the piston, but kept the number of molecules per volume the same. This would result in an increase in the number of collisions against the piston. More collisions over a larger area means an overall increase in the force against the piston. Thus, force is proportional to the area where pressure is applied. Next, imagine if we double the number of molecules in the same space, thus doubling the density. Let the molecules have the same speed, meaning they have the same temperature. Doubling the molecules will mean that there will be roughly double the collisions against the container walls. So we see that pressure is proportional to density. Next, let's increase the temperature of the molecules without changing the density. This increases the speeds of motion in the atoms. The atoms will now hit the walls of the container harder, which increases the pressure. 